after a euthanasia, you do have to make a decision um, as to what to do with your pet's body. And depending on where you live, what your living situation is like, you have a few different options. Um, obviously, if you live in an apartment or you don't have a very, you don't have a yard or you have a very small yard, burial may not be an option. But you might be able to do a burial in a pet cemetery. And I think that it's very important to allow children to be able to participate if there is a burial. Uh, I know my kids did that um, a few months ago when we had to euthanize our Great Dane, and I think it was a very important um, experience for them to be a part of. I think it is important that you don't overprotect your children, but you also don't push them either. If you're getting a child that's very resistant to being a part of the burial process, then you want to be respectful of that as well. It's important for them to know that they do have that option. The other option that you have is cremation and more and more pet owners are starting to choose this option for a variety of reasons. With people moving around a lot, sometimes a burial in the yard um, is not optimal because they don't want to move and then not, you know, obviously have um, their pet's remains with them anymore. And so with the cremation, um, what we did with, with one of our pets is that we actually uh, put part of, the, of his ashes in this wooden urn right here, which you can see is decorated, and we have um, his name on here and his date of uh, when he was born and when he, when he died. And we keep this in a very special place along with some other things that uh, remind us of him. And then what we, what we did is we had part of his ashes uh, put in a, in a plastic case so that we could go and spread them at some point. And um, the children have, have looked at these. We've talked about them. Um, they did not become overly distraught or upset. I think it was a very important experience for them to see the, the actual remains. It is important to let your children know that with cremation that the animal is not feeling any pain when they're being buried. They're not cold. They're not hungry. And it is important, especially with younger children, to make sure they're aware of that. And so what we'll do is when the weather gets a little bit nicer is we're going to go to one of Calvin's favorite spots that he used to like to run and play in and we're going to spread some of these ashes and then we also have some that we will keep with us forever.